of snow, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. Winter is a relief from the heat. Less people die. Even in our buildings, we get cooked to a crisp. In winter, it's dangerous, though. Summer, the heat will kill you quickly. In winter, it'll be the air. No one can go outside anymore. I've never been outside of this building complex myself. gonna eat our rations now. It's very hard to get food. We long ago stopped relying on animals. I haven't even seen an animal besides humans. They were the first to die. Even the rats are gone. I used to see rats. Yes, I have seen an animal besides a human. They tasted so much better than the cactus juice. <clears throat> I miss the rats. The cactus today tastes like dirt. I can't waste any water on washing them, so it probably is dirt. I want to spit this piece out, but I know that this piece is the only meal I'll get all day. If only this hadn't happened. Way back in 2020, before my grandfather was born, there were millions of factories plaguing the sky with black smoke. That was part of the reason this all started. The cars still ran on gas, the sea... No two emissions were going at an alarming rate, and no one listened. They kept on buying things from those factories, kept on driving their five cars, kept on heating their houses up to 80 degrees in winter, and cooling their house to 30 degrees in summer. They kept on flying planes and eating as much meat as possible, forgetting about the turned on lights, and the factories just kept on running, running, running. Now the world is too warm, the skies are polluted with black smoke, and we're all slowly dying. If I were around back then, I would have fixed it all. I would have spoken against the factories and the people that work there. I would have ridden more trains and buses, carpooled more, driven an electric car, or even walked and biked. I would have made laws to protect the national parks. I would have eaten less meat. I wouldn't have flown on planes except on emergencies. I would have turned the lights off when I didn't need them, and maybe even when I did need them. I would have conserved water. I would have done all these things, but it's too late now. This smoke is here to stay. Day 815, logging off. When it's 814 tomorrow, I hope I won't be as depressed. These are the days left until even our ventilators won't dilute the smoke. I have 815 days to live. It's not even really living anymore. 